Hey guys. Good evening. How's it going, guys? Everything good? Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening. What is going on? How was your day today? I have a heavy work day, but ready to start the class. Nice. Oh, you were not here yesterday, Jenny. <laughs> Huh. No, it happened. I because I were late. I were and late. I have the yes, I have the meeting, mm -hmm. and I'm finished the the meeting late. Okay. I can't. Sorry. That's <laughs> but right. I I I saw the the class in the YouTube. Okay, on YouTube. All right. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. So, uh, welcome, Alejandra. How are you? How was your day today? It was pretty good. It was good. Nice. Yeah. Where, where did you learn your English? Uh, at school. Then I took like two or three months like, classes at UCA. And then oh, okay. just experience, I guess. Okay. Um, because your level is pretty good. Okay, so, thank you. Good job. Maylin, hello Maylin. How was your day today? I'm good, David. All good. And good right. day. How was your day? Busy. It's always busy, but it was good. Oh, always is busy. Yes, it's always busy, right? Nuri, how was your day, Nuri? Hi. Very busy too. We're busy too. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, let's get started, guys. Thank you for being here early. All right. Nice to see you, Francisco. Welcome back, Jonathan. Nice to see you here. And we have Kathy joining too. All right. Finally got the background back. Anyways, guys. So um, we're going to talk about past participles, as adjectives, and nouns as well. Okay. So that's. Today's topic, and we're going to have uh, some practice as well. Okay, so this is the agenda, guys. All right. Uh, past participles, adjectives, uh, how we can use them to describe problems with, I mean, how, how we can use uh, these past participles and, and, uh, ad and, and nouns, guys, to describe problems. Okay. And then we're going to have some fun practice. I do have a, a game that I've prepared for you guys, so we're going to go over that too. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, so what is the objective for today? Uh, Who would like to help me read, guys? Raise your hand, just help me read. Ilda, welcome. Thank you, Ilda. Help me read, please. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Go ahead. Read, read the, 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 the paragraph? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Objective. By the end of this. Um, lecture, uh, lecture is correct. Lesson. Lesson. Participant. Yes. Okay. Participant will be able to describe problems with past participle, as adjective, and with noun. With nouns. Very good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, that is the objective for today, guys. At the end, um, it's for you. Uh, being able to describe problems with past participles as adjectives. Okay, so guys, all right, what's a past participle? Who can tell me what a past participle is? Who remembers what a past participle is? When we add uh, ed. When we add ed. Okay, so can you just give me an example? Uh, work. Work. Okay, the pronunciation is worked. Okay, yeah, like this. Works. Okay. okay. Right. So, okay, right. I mean, this is an example of a past participle, yes, right? But what, what's the definition of a past participle? Do you, does anybody remember that? Okay. What's a past participle? So, yeah. Uh, this, this, this. Uh, hmm? Sorry, go ahead. An activity that begin in the past and continue in the present. 
Mm, nope. The, no, that, that's 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 a tense, okay? That's that's not it, okay? So the example, right? The example was right. Activity that. Hmm? I don't know if the activity is the uh, beginning in the past and was interrupted by, interrupted by another one. Okay, all right. I think you're describing the use of uh, simple past, okay? All right, that, that is, I think you're describing um, simple past. Teacher? Yes, Jenny. To describe an action in progress in the past? That that would be that would be either past progressive or past perfect progressive, okay? So or present perfect progressive even, you know. So no, that's that's not it, okay? Uh all right, guys. So we have to remember this. It's important for us to understand guys what a past participle is because this is the this this is the the you know, the the root of everything that we're gonna see later on, okay? So basically guys, a past participle is a verb, okay? So, okay, so it's it's a verb, okay? A verb has three forms, guys, okay? All right, what are the three forms that it has? A base form, okay? A uh, simple past. past form or past form, right? Let's simple past form and then guys number three would be the past participle form right for example we have Right, we have a uh, base form right now remember guys that this is this is actually this includes uh, regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? But let's go with the example of work, right? So somebody said um, this verb before, right? So work, okay? So work is the base form. What is the past, the simple past form of work? Work. Okay. Work. All right, so the simple past form of work, guys, is worked, right? Work. What is the past participle form? Work worked okay all right it would be the same thing right this is for this this is effective guys when we are talking about regular verbs okay now what if you have an irregular verb right like um i don't know give me give me an irregular verb guys let's go about irregular verbs go eat okay very good so see all right so the first the first form would be, what was it? I'm sorry. Go. Go, okay, so the verb go, for example, right? Go, then the, the simple past form. Went. went. Went, right, so we have went and then. Gone. Past participle gone. gone, right? Very good, okay. Really good job, guys, okay? So this is one example. So you can remember the rest, okay? So this part right here, that guys, this is what we call past participles, okay? Usually, guys, past participles are used with verbs, right? So they're usually used with verbs that uh, when we're talking perfect tenses, okay? So for example, I have gone to work, uh, I have gone to work, right? So this gone right here, that would be the past participle, right? Or I've uh, seen that movie before it came out. Okay, so seen would be the past participle verb in this in this context, right? So, anyways, we're not gonna go over, guys, a whole class on past participles. Okay, all right. This is something that you should already know, but just so you can remember, or bring, we're bringing it up here. Okay. So, uh, what other verbs do we have, guys? Okay. So, what would be the past participle of swim? which is irregular, by the way. What would be the past participle of swim, uh, Nuri? Swim. How do you spell it? S-W. Mm -hmm. oh. A-M. All right, that, that, that is the past, the simple past form, right? What is it, guys? 
Okay, thank, thank you, Nora. Okay, this is the, the simple past form. Okay, what is the past participle? Jonathan Marine, what do you think the past participle form of this is? Swam. Swam, right? Very good. With a U. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, Ilda, would you please give me an example of a regular verb? Um, actually, let me give you the verb and then you give me the, the past participle yeah. form. I think I just gave you the past participle form. All right, so what is the past participle of C? Sin. Sin, very good, okay, so sin, okay. What about the, and, and this is not regular, I'm sorry, wait, this goes here, okay, very good. Uh, Kathy, okay, what about um, run? What is the past participle of run? Kathy Carranza? Oh. Run. Yes, what is the past participle of run? Run, run, run right? Run is run, 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 right? Good job. Um, Rafael Mayen, what is the past participle of kick? Kicker, kicker. Ah, uh, you don't pronounce it like that, it's kicked. Kicked, kicked. Kicked. Okay, kicked, kicked. Good job, okay. Kicked. Monica, welcome back, Monica. Um, What's the past participle of leg? Leg. Licked, all right? So same thing, right? So you have regular and irregular verbs, okay? So far so good, guys, all right? Is this part understood? Very well, okay. So let's go back, guys, to the presentation so we can continue, okay? So we know what's the past participle. What, 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 the, what a past participle is, right? It is the third form of a verb which is, uh, it is the third conjugation of a verb. Got it? All right, we're good. So, all right. So who'd like to help me read, guys? Um, actually, let me pick someone. Um, David, all right, David. Help me read, David. Past participle. The past yes. participle of a verb is one of two past forms as an English student. You have probably stood some irregular verbs seen in a list consisting of three words, the infinitive, the simple past, and the past passive. Good job. Okay, so those are the three the three forms of the verbs that, uh, that we were talking about, right? Repeat English, English student. English student. English student. English very, good, very good. So you have an example. You have another example here, right? The verb be, guys, for example, what's the past participle of the verb be? It has two different types of conjugation, right? Depending on the subject. So what are those? Was, was where? and where. Was and where, right? And the past participle is always? Been. Been. Okay, been. been. Okay, good job. Okay. So now guys, okay, let's learn what an adjective is because this has relationship to the exercises that we're gonna come across later on, okay? So what's an adjective? Who can tell me what an adjective is? Let's see, okay, last person to turn on the camera. Oh, everybody's with the camera turned on today, nice. Nice, right, first time I see that, I see that. Uh, I'll pick someone then. Um, oh, Haiti, hello, Haiti. All right, Haiti, what's an adjective? Do you recall what an adjective is? Haiti, can you hear me? Okay. Do you recall what an adjective is? Recall, guys, is an in, a synonym for remember, right? Yes, no? I, I think you got stuck, okay. Uh, it's a word that modified the, a noun. Very good, okay, got it. Okay, so an adjective, you got it, David. Thank you very much, okay. An adjective, guys, is a word that modifies a noun, right? Good job, David, okay. Or it describes a noun, guys. Okay, I prefer this, uh, that describes a noun, okay. Let me ask you something, if I say, guys, um, if I, if I say, I don't know, I'm going to do a leap. Okay. If I talk about the leap. All right. So I, if I say Dua Lipa is beautiful, do we have an adjective here? Let, let's say Dua Lipa is a beautiful 
lady, right? So do where is the adjective here? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, right? Very good. Now, check this out. If I say, guys, um, if I say Dua Lupe, right? Dua Lupe is the, the Dua Lipa from here, guys. All right. So if I say Dua Lupe has four cars, do I have an adjective here? Yes or no? No. No. Are you sure? Do you want to bet? Let's bet $20, guys. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. Okay, what is the adjective here? Four. Four. Four, very good. Because remember, guys, any word that describes a noun is an adjective, okay? Four is talking about what, guys? Okay, so this is, right? So, Lupe, guys, this is, uh, this is the subject, okay? What type of subject this is, okay? It's a noun, right? Okay, uh, has, okay, is the main verb in this case, right? Main verb, okay, whatever. Okay, and... So then we got four in cars, right? So first of all, you have to determine, hey, what is four describing, okay? What is four talking about? Four is talking about cars, okay? Which is, this is the object, okay? The, the sentence and the type of object that it is, guys, it's a noun, right? So it's another noun. Remember, what does an adjective do, guys? It describes a noun, right? So four is describing what? Four is describing cars, right? And cars yeah. is a noun. So this, right, turns out to be an adjective then, right? Got it? It is an adjective because it's talking about cars, and cars is a noun. Got it? Yes? All right. Very good, guys. So um, so just like that, guys. okay? That is an adjective, okay? So now you know what an adjective is, okay? All right? So now, guys, there is one last thing, okay? Uh, before we move on, okay, there's one last thing. We, uh, I, Who doesn't know what a noun is, guys? Do we know what a noun is? Does everybody know what a noun is, guys? A noun? Yes? A noun is identify animals, things. Very good. Okay. A noun, guys, is anything pretty much, right? David, okay. David, um, a child, right? Um, I don't know, a horse, okay, a plant, okay, whatever, right? So Everything, guys, that you can name pretty much is a, is a noun, right? Anything that is not a pronoun, okay, is a noun, okay? So, adjectives, okay? Uh, help me read the description of adjectives. Let's see, Rodrigo. Welcome back, Rodrigo. Nice to see you again. Hello. Uh, adjectives are words that describe the qualities or states of being of nouns. Hermes, dog like silly, yellow, fun, fast. They can also describe the quantity of nouns, many, few, millions, 11. Very good, guys. Even quantity, guys, okay? All of these are adjectives, okay? So we have a few examples down here. Um, Francisco, could you please help me read the examples and identify the adjectives? Um, yeah, the example. Margot wore a beautiful hat to the five eating contest. So the first one is four dogs made over sit in the summertime. Another, my cake should have 16 candles. And okay. the last one, the scariest a billion of all time is dark ladies. Uh -huh. Good job. Thank you, Francisco. All right. Thank you, okay. So beautiful, guys. Beautiful is an adjective because it's describing what noun, Rafael Reyes, what noun is, is beautiful describing in this example? Rafael Mayen? He's describing Margot, Margot. Oh, Margot the hat. No, the I'm hat. sorry, that is the hat, the hat. Okay, very good. So we have the noun here, see? We have the noun here and beautiful describing the noun, right? Very good. Uh, Alejandra, uh, furry dogs. Okay, what is furry the adjective describing here? Dogs. Okay, right. So it's describing guys the noun dogs, right? Very good. Uh, Rafael Garcia, right? What is why is sixteen an adjective? Because it describes sorry candy candle. Okay, describing candles and candles is another noun, right? So. All right, scariest, okay, scariest, okay. Jose Chicas, why is scariest 
a considered a an adjective here? Uh, uh, seria villain. Yeah. Villain, yeah. okay, because, right, it's, it's modifying the noun villain, right? Good job, guys, all right? So far, so good, guys. By far, guys, we should know, all right, we should know what a past participle is, and we should know what an adjective is. Is that clear? Clear as tequila, vodka. <laughs> all right, very good, great. So, very good, guys. So now, how can we use them, guys? Okay, how can we use them in real life situations? Okay, so we can use these guys to, to what? To describe problems, right? To describe problems. Um, we can use past participles and and uh, as adjectives, guys. And um, and we can use nouns, right? So here's the first example. Okay, so who'd like to have me read the first example? So let's describe problem number one, and then I'll show you something. Go ahead. Okay. The jacket lining is torn. Very good. Thank you very much, Rafael. Yes, guys. So the, uh, the, the jacket lining is torn, okay? By the way, guys, do you know what a jacket lining is? If you don't know, Google it, guys. Do you know what a jacket lining is? <laughs> this jacket lining. Yes, Rodrigo, I think you wanted to say something. Does anybody know, guys? Well, do you know what the meaning of turn is? It, it is a past participle of, of tear. That is, that is, Okay. Right. So guys, so all right, very good. Okay, so yes, that is the meaning of turn, guys. Okay, it is the past participle of the verb tear, right? Tear. Tear. Okay. Tear. Everybody repeat tear. 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 Okay. All tear. Right. So turn, guys, is the past participle of the verb tear. Okay. All right. So the jacket lining, guys, is like the fabric of the jacket, okay? So it's turn, right? Very good. Uh, second example using past participles. Who'd like to help me read the second example? Go ahead. Jenny, hello, Jenny, let's go. Okay, the tabletop is damaged? Okay, the tabletop is damaged. Okay, damaged. All right. Damaged. Very good. And damaged is the past participle of what verb? Uh, Tatiana. Damaged is the past participle of what verb? Yes, Tati? I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe. Okay. All right. If it is regular, guys, if it is regular, what do you think? Kathy Carranza, all right? What do you think, Kathy? Damaged is the past it's participle. Regular. Part. Damaged. Damaged, right? Very good. So it is the, all right, the past participle of the verb damage. Okay. Very good. All right. Same with um, the next example, Rafael Garcia. All right. Help me read and tell me what, uh, what past participle chef is that base is chipped okay and that's the past participle of what verb chip chip very good chip. okay good job um alejandro escobar okay my pants are stained stained is the past participle of what verb alejandro is the part uh, is the past participle of uh, Stand, stain, stain, right? Very good, All right? Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So here, guys, the same thing, right? So her sunglasses are a little bit scratched, right? So this is, all right? So the past, uh, the, the base form is scratched like this, right? Scratch. All right. And then right here, guys, we have a present participle, okay? Which is the new occurring is leaking, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, leaking, guys, is called a present participle, and that is the base form of the verb 
I mean, uh, the base form of, of the present party's police leak, right? All right, very good. And remember the, that, guys, okay? So <clears throat> now, guys, let's take a look. These are, you know, we are describing problems here with um, with past participles, right? Now, what happens when we describe problems with nouns? Um, let's see. All right, who would like to help me read the first example here? It has a tear in it. In, there. In it. There, not tear. Tear. Uh, tears coming out from your from your eyes. Okay, so there is a tear in it. Okay, or there is okay. a hole in it. Okay. So guys, okay, the noun here is tear, right? There is a tear in it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go into more detail um, with this, guys. Okay, soon. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see, Alejandra. Okay, let's uh, help me read the second one, please. There is some damage on the top. Okay, very good. What is the noun here? Damage. All right, very good. So we got damage, right? So instead of the past participle, guys, we're using a noun now, which is damage, right? Instead of saying, you know, it is chipped, okay? Monica Carrillo, right? Um, instead of saying uh, that the vase is chipped, we're saying, that what are we saying monica there is a chip in it there is a chip in it right chip in it very good okay so there is a chip in it okay and the chip guys is the noun here so same thing happens guys with you know my pants are stained instead of saying my pants are stained you can say they have a stain on them instead of saying you know uh, her sunglasses are a little bit scratched you're saying there are a few uh, few scratches on them Instead of saying the new aquarium is leaking, you say it has a leak in it, okay? A leak in it, sorry. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, so I'm going to give you more examples, guys, okay? All right, but um, so here is, all right, <clears throat> so here is uh, the first example, okay? So in the first example, guys, which says something is torn, is this... Um, um, can you can you tell me if we're using a past participle or if we're using a noun here? What do you think, Haiti? Haiti? We're using a past participle or is this a noun? Past participle. Very good, right? So this is an example with a past participle. Okay, has a turn it. Then therefore, this is the, the, the example with a noun, right? Hey, what's the difference of them two guys? Is there any difference between these two examples? What do you think? Difference or not? No difference, guys. It means exactly the same. Okay. So bottom line, you can use you can say it in, in you know either in one way or the other, and it means exactly the same. Got it? So far so good? All right, so this is the structure, guys. Please write it down in your notebook, okay? Make sure, you guys, right? I need your notebooks and your pants, okay? Write it down. All right, so this is the structure when we want to talk about, you know, if we want to describe problems with past participles, okay? I'll give you guys one minute to jot it down in your notebook, all right? By the way, guys, if you don't know the meaning of jot it down, jot it down, okay? This is like, like, Write it down, but quick, please, okay? All right, so anyways. So jot it down, guys. This is misspelled, by the way. It's just a subject, not sub beached or something. All right, guys, so real quick, guys, okay. Um, Nuri, all right, so let's uh, let's identify each part here, okay? So where is the subject here? Um, okay. My dress. Okay, so my dress, actually the subject is dress, but uh, we're gonna consider my dress the whole subject, okay? 
All right, then guys, there's something very important, okay? Just right before the verb guys, we have some, I'm sorry, right before the past participle being used as, used as an adjective, we have something very important here. The verb be guys, okay? So the regardless of the tense that you're using guys, okay? You always have to add the verb be, okay? So this is always gonna be here, okay? So this is the verb be right here. And then we have the past participle being used as, used as an adjective, which is right here, okay? So real quick guys. Now, um, I want everybody guys right now to send me five examples to the chat, okay? Okay, so send five examples to the chat guys, okay? Right now, everybody type in five examples to the chat. Meanwhile, I'm gonna ask each of you, okay? So Alejandra, give me one of your examples. Me? Yes, just follow the, 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 the structure, okay? Mm, my dog is uh -huh. mm, damaged <laughs> damaged okay right so my dog is damaged maybe he has some brain damage right and he's <laughs> nuts right he's maybe he's crazy now <laughs> thank you Alejandra. all right uh nuri give me one of your examples okay um my my you car you don't need to say my guys, okay? That's just an example. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Um, my yeah. car? Uh -huh. My car? <laughs> my, my car is uh, damaged. <laughs> All right, no, I don't want you to use the same verb. Guys, do not use the same verbs, okay? Don't be, mm -hmm. don't be diputados, okay? <laughs> my car is scratched. My car is crashed, okay? Okay, very good, crashed. Okay, my, crashed. my car is crashed, okay? Uh, by the way, guys, okay, remember, necesito que todo el mundo ahorita me envíe cinco ejemplos en el chat, okay? All right, very good. Also, use other verbs, guys. If you don't know, if you don't remember verbs, guys, it's okay, go to Google, okay? Go to Google and find verbs, okay? All right, you can do that, okay? Ask Mr. Google, all right? Uh, I'll give you one example, guys. You can say, you know, you can say um, the motorcycle, right? The motorcycle I was riding yesterday. Um, I can say was, you know, or you can say is, right? Is, is broken, right now? Is broken. Or is shining, all right? Or I can say is, um, is cracked see so i can use multiple verbs guys okay all right and you can give me more complex examples as well okay so uh monica give me one of your examples monica okay the bus is forgotten the the bus the was past. forgotten the past oh the past uh -huh, the past the past is forgotten. Uh-huh. Or okay. has forgotten. No, it's forgotten is fine, okay? Or you can okay. say was forgotten too as long as you're using the verb be, okay? You okay. can even say has been forgotten if you're talking, you know, in a person in a perfect tense, okay? All right, very good. Okay, David, okay, give me an example about la toxica. <laughs> la toxica is drunk. La toxica, okay, that's her name, guys. La toxica is drunk, okay? Okay, very good. It's drunk, okay? Uh, good example, right? Haiti, give me one example, Haiti. One of your examples. My car is fixed. My car is fixed. Repeat, fixed. Fixed. Very good. With a ta at the end, like like if you're sneezing, right? Ta, fixed. All right, very good. Thank you, Haiti. Um, Jonathan Marine, give me one example. Give me one of your examples. The book is borrowed. What? Oh, the, the book? The book is borrowed. The book is borrowed. Very good. I like that example. Borrowed. Very good. Actually, now, I, I don't think that you could say is here. Well, actually, no, never mind. You can say is. Never mind. Okay. Um, Maylin. Yes. Go ahead. 
Mailing poker sangre. Uh, my computer is broken. My computer, not computer, computer. Computer. Is broken. Very good. My computer is broken. Thank you very much. Jenny, let's go, Jenny. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. The, ta the, the table is crushed. The table is crushed. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, okay. Francisco, give me one example. I don't know if this one is okay, but uh, I was thinking of the eyes are tiny today. So mm. I, I'm not understanding because of yes, your microphone. Like, uh, I said, mm, for example, uh, Chrissy, uh, Chrissy uh, has uh, a shiny eye today. Christy, what? Has a shiny like shine the a shiny what shine eyes today christy has shiny eyes today mm -hmm. yeah i mean you're using shiny as an adjective but that's not the past participle that is not that is not an example you need to follow the structure here okay think about it francisco because i can barely I, I also can barely understand you because of your microphone right there's something wrong with your microphone. Rafael Mayen, let's go, Rafa. Give me your example, please. The Christmas season is close. Okay, so the Christmas season is close. Very good. Now, uh, close, is that a verb or is that a noun? <laughs> okay. You can say it's closed, but that would change the meaning, okay? Uh, this would be it's nice correct. Thing. This is not so, what I'm trying. Uh -huh. there is the Christmas season is, is, is near. Yeah, but near is not a past participle. No. Okay. The yes, examples um, are the examples are fine. I mean, the idea makes sense, right? But it's not. We're not using okay. a, a verb as a past participle here. So think about it. Okay. okay. Christmas has come. Yeah, you can say that, but that's not. Guys, you need to follow the structure here, okay? This one right here, okay? Because the, the point, guys, yes, your examples are fine, but these are not past participles being used as adjectives. And the whole point, guys, is that you use past participles as adjectives, okay? All right? So you can say, for example, you know, Christmas is, uh, Christmas is, is uh, broken or Christmas is um, forgotten or you can say, you know, other verbs, guys, right? So I need, guys, okay, I need you to use past participles as adjectives, okay? Let me take a look at your examples, guys. Um, Rafael Garcia says he's interested in a new car. Okay, he's interested in a new car, interested there um okay the restaurant was closed that's a good example michi love ultra beers are drunk now if you say something like this guys <laughs> all right no okay uh you can say people who drink you know Mich michi love or whatever are drunk okay this is an example that you can use because the beers cannot get drunk okay you get drunk not the beers my cell phone is broken. Yes, Jose. My PS4 control is broken. Yes, Rafael. Very creative. Alejandra, the laptop is scratched. Very good. Uh, David, the book is written about war. My pants are stained. Good job. My phone is damaged. My phone, uh, the hotel I, I was, the hotel that I visited was far away. Nope. I mean, that is, that makes sense, but that's not a good example. He's obsessed with money. Okay, my pants are staying with one, my job is done, the fries were eaten, her babies for walking, very good. Okay, very good, guys, okay? I think you got the hang of it, all right? Very good. So then, guys, we have the other way of doing this, okay? The structure with nouns. So how can we say the same thing, but with nouns? I'll give you 
one minute, guys, to finish writing down the structure, okay? Let's go. This is the structure, guys, that you have to use if you if you want to use it, if you want to use nouns. So let's go. So here, guys, you can either use subject plus have plus noun, right? Now, remember, guys, that if it is third person, right, have will change to, to what? If it is third person. To has yes. guys, okay. All right, and the other structure is this one down here. There is, or there are, plus a noun, okay. If it is a cannibal noun, guys. If it is a cannibal plural noun, I mean singular noun, you're gonna add the article. What article? What article are you gonna add, guys? A or an, right? Okay, if it is a cannibal uh, singular now okay very good so example down here Haiti could you please help me read the example the two, the, uh, the two examples my dress has a stain a stay on it there is a stay on it very good okay so here guys you can notice that we actually are applying the rules right so what is the where's the subject here over here, right? The dress, right? My dress, okay? The verb have? As, right? Yes. Very good. And then the noun is right here. See? Stain, right? Instead of saying, guys, it's, you could say this, guys. It's, or you could say it's stained, right? But instead of saying stain, guys, you have a noun, right? It has a stain. See? Very good. Uh, what about the second one, right? The second structure, there is or there are, right? There is right here, right? And then uh, we have um, cannibal or uncannibal noun, guys, stain. Cannibal or uncannibal. Can you count it? Yes or no? Can you say one stain, two stains, three stains, four stains? Can you say that? Yes, so it is a cannibal noun, right? So yes, okay, so if it is a cannibal noun, guys, remember I said that before the noun, you have to add a or an, right? Since this starts with a consonant, okay, you're gonna say a, okay? And you have the noun over here, see? And that is the structure, guys, okay? So far, so good? Yes. Pretty well, okay? So we got, we got uh, two examples here, guys. All right, so with the first example, guys, my car has a scratch on it, right? So we're following the rule here. My is a subject, right? Subject, subject. And then you have the verb have, right? In third person, turns into has. And then you have the noun, which is scratch over here, right? Plus, remember, we do have this small thing right here, which is the article if it is a cannibal noun, right? Down here, guys, we have there is or there are, which is over here. There is, right? Because, hey, by the way, what's the difference between there is and there are, guys? When are we going to use there is and when are we going to use there are? Yes? There what's is it? when it's singular. Very good. There is when it's uh, when we're referring to singular nouns and there are when we're referring to to plural yeah. nouns, right? So there is a scratch, right? Scratch, guys. Okay, this is the the um, this is the noun, guys. Okay. All right, and the rest is the complement, right? So we have the small article down here because it's a singular cannibal noun, and then we have the complement over here. Okay. So this is pretty much, guys, how the structure goes. All right. Yes, all good? All good then. All right. Questions, guys? All right. Very good. Now, we can say the same thing, guys. If we can say, you know, if we can say this, guys, we can also say this, and it is exactly the same thing. Okay? When are we going <laughs> to use one or the other? Whenever you want, guys. Okay? Nobody's stopping you from using one or the other, okay? So, doesn't matter, okay? 
All right, guys. So let's have some practice. Okay. Do you want to play a game? <clears throat> no. <laughs> let's play a game, guys. Okay. Um, it doesn't matter if you won or not because this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding, guys. Right. No. Um, but yeah, guys, let's play. Okay. So what you're going to do, guys, is that if you have, hold on, are you seeing, are you, what are you seeing right now, guys, on the screen? Are you seeing the, the roulette the, the, <coughs> the roulette spinning or are you seeing still the, the roulette in the presentation? In uh, doc. What? Right now in the presentation. Oh, okay, it's not, right. It's not so, moving. Okay, right. So it's not moving. Okay, th thank you. All right. So there you go. Now you should see the right one. Do you see it? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. So this is what we're going to do, guys. Okay. I am going to, well, whoever wants to participate, I'll give you points. All right. So I'll, I'm just going to give you points. All right. I'm going to type in your name here and I'm going to give you points. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, guys, is that uh, once I spin it, you will have some examples in here see so there are some examples here right written here so now guys what you're gonna do if it says you know it's scratch for example right you're gonna transform this into the other version right if it, if you are using if the example is using as participles you're gonna use what if, the, ex okay. if the example is using past participles you're gonna give me an example with with nouns, okay? Yes? Very good, guys. So let's get ready. All right. I didn't like if I'm sharing the sound, right? Very good. Okay, so it says it has a leak in it, okay? So who wants to answer that one? So it says it has a leak in it. Volunteer. My sink is a leaking. Say your name. Say your name, right? This is who? Mailin. Mailin, right? Mailin. Good job. Okay. So what is it? My sink. Uh huh. Is a leaking. My leaking. sink is leaking like this. My sink is leaking. All right. Very good. I good think. job. Okay. That is the right answer. Good job. A plus four. Mailin. Good job, Mailin. Applause, guys. Hey, guys, come on, right? Very good. Thank you, Mailin, right? So, Mailin, you got one point, Mailin, right? So, see, guys, that's how you're going to do it, okay? So, number two, guys, let's go. I think that's going to be yellow. Yeah, it's yellow, okay? So, it says it's scratched, okay? So, all right, so this is past participle. I need the noun form, okay? So what is it? Volunteer? My, my phone. Okay, that is mailing again, right? My phone, oh, okay. huh? No, who, who's, who's saying it? Oh, Nuri, Nuri, I'm sorry. I thought that mailing was saying <laughs> So go ahead, Nuri. My phone. Uh -huh, my phone. Has a has a scratch on it. Has a scratch. You can say my phone has a scratch or it has a scratch, right? Very good, okay? So good job. Uh, since it says it's, guys, okay? We don't know what it is, right? It could be any noun. So good job, Nuri. All right, you have earned one point two. Applause for Nuri, guys. Well done, all right? Okay. Very, very good. Okay. All right, uh, next up, guys, we have We have, it is damaged, okay? So this is a past participle. Who wants to give me the answer for this one? Francisco, let's go. My TV is damaged. Ah, uh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, my TV has a damage. My TV, my TV has, guys, damage, is it, is it a cannibal noun or is it a, is it an uncannable noun? 
damage. Oh, okay. On control. Control. Okay. So you okay. can say it has some damage. Okay. My, my TV has some damage. Okay. That's it. All right. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Francisco. You have earned another point. Okay. Good job. Plus for Francisco, guys. Well done, Francisco. Right. High five to you. All right. Very good. Um, next, guys. Let's see. It is chipped. All right. So we have another fast participle. Who wants to go to do this one? Volunteers? Do my favorite, guys. Every time that you have one, let's solve it in your notebook. Okay. I need everybody, I want everybody, guys, to solve them in your notebook. And I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to pick a random person, guys, if you do not volunteer. Okay, so uh, who wants to do this one? It Finish has it, a chip on it. Very good. Okay, thank you, Jonathan. All right, so Jonathan says it has a chip in it, right? Or on it. Okay, very good. So, uh, Jonathan, good job. Marine, I'm going to type in your last name here. Cause... All right, very good. Marine, one point. All right, good job, Marine. Very good. All right, uh, next up, guys. All right, let's have, by the way, I'm giving you the answers from the, the platform. All right, so it says it's stained, okay? So what is the answer for it's stained? My t-shirt has a lot of a lot of stain. Very good. Okay, so my t-shirt, right, has a lot of stains. Okay, you can say this. Good job, David. All right, David, you got one point two. All right, good job. Very good. Plus for David, guys. Well done. All right. Um, then we have. Right. Let's see. My t-shirt is turn. Okay, so that's another fast participle. Who wants to do this one? It has a tear in it. A tear in it. Very good. It has a tear, not tear, tear, in, it. tear in it, okay? Tear in it. Yeah. It has yeah. tear in it. Good job. Good job, okay? All right, so this was Rafael, Mayen. Mayen, right? Very good. Mayen. Plus for Mayen, guys. Well done, Mayen. All right, we're good. So my end, one point. All right, uh, next up, guys, we have it has scratches. Okay, now we have a noun, guys. Okay, so how do we turn this into a fast participle? So it has scratches, right? It's a scratch. Okay, so Jonathan Marin said it's it's scratched, all right? It's scratched. Very good. Okay, so Jonathan, you got yourself two points. Okay, good job. Plus for Jonathan, guys. Well done, Jonathan. All right. Very good. Um I'm not gonna ask you to plot anymore, guys, because nobody's doing it anymore. All right, uh, it has a torn, okay? So this is this is another noun. How do we turn it into a past participle? It has a torn. Kathy Carranza, what do you think, Kathy? So how do you turn it into a past participle? There is a turn on it. Very good. There is a turn, right? There is a turn. Good job. Okay. All right, Kathy, right? I'm going to give you one point here. Okay. Good job, guys. Um, let's see. Next one. It has a chip in it. All right. So how do you turn this into a fast participle? Ilda. It says it has chip in it. It 
So, Hilda, Hilda Alvarado, how do you turn this into a past participle? Uh, the, the what part? Sure. The... It says it has a chip in it. Um, I didn't understand, teacher. So, so you have to turn this, this phrase right here, all right? You have to turn it into a past participle form. Um, For example, okay, I'll, go ahead. You got it? No. Uh, okay. No, okay. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, Jenny, right. Jenny. So let's turn this into a past participle form. Uh, the cell phone is chipped. Very good. So the cell phone, right? The cell phone is chipped. Very good, Jenny. Good chipped. job. All right. Great, Jenny. Right. High five to you. Okay. All right. So Jenny, one point. Right. So the cell phone is chipped, right? Then, guys, we have Katie. All right, let's you do this one, okay? It has scratches. I, I think I didn't remove this one, so hold on. You already did that one, okay? So let's do it has some damage. So, Haiti, how do you turn that into a past participle form? It says it has some damage. My computer has damage. My computer what? Is damaged. Is damaged, right? Is damaged. Good job, Haiti. All right, so all right, you got one point here. And lastly, guys, who wants to do the last one? I'll I'll let you choose, guys. Who wants to do the last one? It says there is a stain. It says there is a stain. So who wants to do this one? That's a noun. Uh huh. So you need to turn it into a past participle. Um, my dog has a stain. My dog has a stain. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, all right. So Haiti. All right, thank you for, so much for your example. You just earned a thousand points. Okay, so the winner is Haiti, guys, with a thousand and one points. Good job, all right? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Everybody who participated is the winner, okay? Because you won absolutely nothing. <laughs> all right, anyways, guys, do we have any question? Was was it clear, guys? Yes? No? Yes. All right, very good then. So, uh, guys. This is actually uh, the, the the ones that we were just doing, guys. is is part of the uh, the is in the platform actually, guys. Okay, if you happen to to have uh, issues from the in platform, okay, on the platform, just let me know. Yes, Alejandra, tell me. Yeah, I have a question regarding that. Um, I'm not sure if you can check the first uh, question or like the first item. On the two point, no, on the one point two knowledge check, okay. I don't know if the answer is not like put in properly for for it to be checked for the the things that we enter on the on the box. But I have tried to put like as a noun as as a everything that I, that it, I can think of. Okay. And it doesn't take it, so I'm not sure what is the answer there. So, and I just wanted to, to hear this class to check with you uh, about it, but I'm not sure if it's a problem with it or if I'm the problem or <laughs> what's no, going it's, on. It's, 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 probably, it's probably you. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's probably the platform. <laughs> it might be, but I wanted to check anyways. <laughs> no, no, I'm pretty sure. It's, no, the platform has some issues. I'm kidding. Don't worry. It's not you. I'm, I'm very <laughs> sure it's not you. Um, you said that was, that was number what? It is the 1. first 2. one. The first one. Yeah. Okay. The first one from the yeah the first knowledge check. Okay. Right. Very good. Uh, so it's the number one from the first knowledge knowledge check, right? Hold on. Is the one that says that the tablecloth isn't very clean. It. Okay. Right, and yeah. the word is stained. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so it says these, uh, this table cloth isn't very clean. So what is your answer? 
tried. I have it, it here. Is, it it is, is stained. Okay, so it is stained. Do you have it like that? So that's what I wanted to check with you because on the other ones, you don't need to put the uh, the pronoun or like because you already have it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got so, it. Yeah, I've, uh, I'm not too sure if that's what you Oh, I got it, got it, got it. So your answer was like this stained, just like so that. I put it is stained. And even I put that dot because I noticed that that was the problem with the last one, like okay. the other one. And so it didn't I take it. it. I got it, got it, got it. So thank you. Yes, the answer technically should be is stained, right? This should be the answer and you would be fine. Okay. I'm sorry guys, my doctor handwriting, right? So the answer should be like this, right? But uh, the platform, this this specific question is, I told you it's not you, right? It's the platform because the answer like is like this, it's stained or it is stained. Okay, so you do have to add the subject, I think. Let's see, to see, like that, right? <laughs> so it was not you, right? You're right, okay? It was not you, okay? Uh, okay. Um, any other one, guys? Yes, and the number six. Number six, the okay. Me too, the number six. Well, why do you have a number six? Damage. And the ceiling is damaged like this? Damage? No. Damaged? No. With it, yes. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and did you place a period at the end? Okay. Is, no. Oh, is. You mean like this? Damaged. Is damaged? Tampoco, sorry, no. Um, tampoco? You have to take out the dot, yeah. Okay, all right. So now, in te te technically, guys, okay, te yeah, don't don't use a period at the end because technically you should use a period, okay? Like, a, using a period should be correct, but for some reason it's not, okay? So, is damaged is the answer, okay? Good job. Any other one, guys? In number four. Number four? <laughs> Number one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> so I just have uh, some feedback there. Uh, some of them you do have to put a dot at the end, but yes. in some of those you don't. So I guess you just have to like try it out until yes. you get it right. Yes, yes. I, I, I know. I know. That's a problem with the platform. Technically, you know, if 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 the word goes at the end you should be using a period right but i don't know what happened with the platform okay but thank you right um number four what, what's number four it says the one he's wearing what what is the answer here what what, what do you have whoever who asked me for this question guys who asked me for this one who asked me about number four guys <sighs> Que me preguntó la número cuatro, guys. Nobody? Nobody. Well, the answer is, is turn. See? The one he's wearing is turn, right? Um, anything else, guys? Cafecito? <laughs> <laughs> Frappe. Prepare. All right. It's okay. Now you're lucky. You're lucky. I don't have another class at nine because otherwise, <laughs> I would have. I would have left already. Okay. So thank you very much for joining, guys. Uh, uh, there is. Oh, by the way, guys, before you leave, right? Uh, we do not have a class tomorrow. Okay. Why? We have a class until Monday. All right. Why? Whoa. Because classes are from Monday to Thursday. But since we started on Wednesday, I thought that we're we're gonna start. Um, I mean, that we're going to have uh, tomorrow, yes. but we're not, okay? So, yes. so I'll see you until next Monday, okay? Okay. So, good evening, guys. Take care. See you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.